when 13-year-old Millie Dowler went missing from a quiet, leafy suburb of West London on her way home from school. Some people say it was like magic, and everybody had an opinion. Me? But I don't believe in magic. She vanished from the street. One minute she was here, the next she was gone. But when the streets of West London started overflowing with the blood of pretty young blondes, police had to consider that the missing schoolgirl were more than just a sleight of hand. All three were attacked near bus stops in southwest London. Because in three separate incidents, a girl returning home from a night out was attacked after getting off the bus. And two of them were in a morgue from getting their skulls ventilated with a hammer. But I guess the third had what you call self-preservation. Sensing she were being watched by a creep in a van, she crossed the street to avoid him. But he got mad, and he ran her over. <laughs> Where does it hurt? But this time, it was the victim who fingered the perpetrator. And unlike his victims, he was alive when the pretty young blonde fingered him because the schoolgirl identified a white fan driven by a fat, sweaty, repulsive man. People can be so cruel, but it must have ruminated with the killer's ex-girlfriend because she identified 38-year-old Levi Belfield, a doorman and a wheel clamper. I guess modeling didn't work out. And when police investigated, they found out that Belfield's new girlfriend lived only 100 yards from where Millie was last seen. Under intense police questioning, the fat fuck folded, and he'd admitted that he'd taken Millie in through the bushes, took her back to the apartment, and raped and tortured her for 14 hours before he disposed of her body. Motive? His girlfriend said that he'd killed the girls because he'd always hated pretty young blondes.